Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here for another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And this time we have the Yasunori AUS-10 or AUS-10 Kritsuke Petty 140mm knife. So this knife has a three layer construction. The hardcore cutting edge steel down the middle is AUS-10 full stainless steel, which is similar kind of in characteristics to uh, Ginsan or Silver 3. Uh, the uh, cladding is soft stainless as well. And that cladding is on either side of that core steel. And it has a, a hammered, Susime hammered finish. And it's quite quite the polish to it, as you can kind of see here. So that'll see if we can keep that to a minimum on the reflections here as best we can. The um, So it's an all stainless blade. Heat treat on that core steel is typically around 60. Rockwell 59 to 60. Weight and dimensions should be fairly similar knife to knife. This one's 105 grams or 3.7 ounces. The handle is a blue pack of wood, which is a stabilized wood product. It is a full tang handle, as you can see, full tang construction, stainless rivets, uh, a integrated bolster here that goes right into the blade. So nice fit and finish on that. Uh, we'll cover the rest of that in a little bit. So 140 millimeters on the edge is what I got on this one, five and a half inches. And um, overall length, about 10.15 inches, a little under 260 millimeters. Spine thickness, um, it's got a pretty stiff blade. It's got about 1.9 millimeters thick, pretty much all the way down. And then you hit that corner there on the tip, and it thins out towards the grind. It actually gets fairly thin towards the tip, not wafer thin, but fairly thin. Not a very tall blade, so I don't expect much here, but you can see it's fairly thin as well on the edge. Edge profile, fairly fairly flat. We'll get a look at it. Um, height about 28.7, so it's not very tall, so you're not going to have a lot of clearance here for your fingers on the board. Uh, let's get a beauty shot of this guy here. So as you can see, uh, you've got, what's really cool is you've got hand engraved kanji on here. So there's your hand engraved kanji. You can feel that when you run your finger across it. You've got some hammering on the finish, um, and then some polish, quite a bit of polish to that. And then here's your cladding, here's your coarse steel. And then this is the left side of the blade. So again, you've got your hammered finish at the top there and then you get the grind down towards the edge there's your core steel there peeking out again this is a pretty highly polished blade fit and finish is nicely done they've got a little polish on the spine not a whole lot of rounding but a little bit and they've done a little bit of work to the choil not a ton it's got still maybe just a touch sharp on the choil on at least the left side of the blade um, balance point, as you might suspect, is going to be a little bit further back just because of the small size of the blade and full tang. So there's your balance point about right there. So if you pinch it, it's definitely going to be a handle-heavy blade for sure. But a lot of different ways you can hold a blade like this. Uh, again, fairly stiff, as you might suspect, on the blade itself. Um, out of the box edge, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It, it looks good, but it wasn't like really super sharp, so it's decent. Uh, but definitely could get sharper. If you intend on using this on the board, which you can, you might have to work either on a thin board uh, near the edge of the countertop, or if you've got a thicker board like this one, you can definitely work off the edge of the board and have lots of ground clearance. But if you're on the board, I just, I know I'm kind of reaching around with the way I'm going to do my videos, but there's not a whole lot of clearance there. You can do a little bit of clearance, but there's not a lot. So. You'll probably have to work this off the edge of the counter, or if you got a thicker board like this, just work it off the edge of the board. Or if you're just doing stuff that you don't really need to rock it or things like that, you probably don't have to worry about that. So, Anyway, it's a really cool looking blade, a lot of good kind of general utility purpose for it. So fairly just kind of gentle belly. We don't really have a lot of flat spot there at all, so you could rock this for sure if you wanted to. Again, a little bit more of a utility knife. But if you're looking for something unique uh, to try it, a little different shape, a little different style, uh, nice fit and finish, cool looking, hand engraved kanji, good value. So it's a nice package. So this is the Yasunori AUS-10 or AUS-10 Kiritsuke 
uh, petty, one four millimeter knife, one forty millimeter knife, easy for me to say, from Chef Knives to Go.